Okay, you guys, since we have been working on mean, median, mode, and range, and box and whisker plots, and histograms, and all kind of things, what I wanted to do was create a review for you for today for um, all of these items. Now, a lot of times what happens is I can ask you questions about one thing, and then you can do it, but when I put them all on the same question, it gets kind of confusing. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to answer questions where we find mean, median, mode, and range, along with all of the information to create a histogram, create it, and then find all of the information to do a box and whisker plot and then create that, all from the same data, okay? So I'm gonna do one example with you. I'm gonna help you start the example for number two, and then you guys are gonna have to do the third one all by yourself, okay? Um, so the first thing we would do Okay, is read our question carefully. So it says the age at first job. So what we would do is we would notice that there was a 20 year old, 14, 17, 13, 15, 16, 16, 14, 16, and 18. Okay, so the best thing that I would tell you to do is to go ahead and put these numbers in order from least to greatest. That's gonna be your best bet every time. So when we put them in order from least to greatest, we have 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16, so there are three of them, and then 17, 18, and 20. So what we need to do is we need to figure out how to fill out all the information up here using the data that we have. So let's do the histogram first because it's pretty easy. So how many people um, had jobs age 13, 14, okay, so that's the age range we're looking at. So we look up here, 13, 14, 14. So there were three people who had jobs in this age range. All right, so we would fill that in our chart. Next thing, we would go count the age range 15 to 16. So one, two, three, four. So there were four people who have um, jobs, their first job at age 15 or 16. And then 17 to 18, there were two of those, so we go ahead and fill that in. And then only one person got their first job at age 20, so we go ahead and fill that in here. Now, you guys, I don't have my little pad with me, so I'm trying to do this with a mouse, so we're doing the best we can. All right, so for a histogram, we have to make sure that the bars touch and that they are of the appropriate height. Okay, so 13 and 14, we would start right here on 13. And so there were three people. So we go straight across here and then we go ahead and bring it down at 15. Now, the reason why it comes all the way at 15 because the next bar is gonna start at 15, all right? So we need to make sure that, um, that it comes straight down at the appropriate number, okay? The next bar goes up to four. So we would go up a little higher, over, and we go all the way to 17 because the new bar is gonna start here at 17. I know mine are a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Um, 17 to 18, there are two. So we have two in this section. We would bring that bar straight down. And then 19 to 20, there's only one person who had a job there. And then we go ahead and come to 21 because that's what's gonna start the new um, interval. Okay, so the histogram, pretty easy to draw from that chart. Now, I think the box and whisker plot is the next easiest part um, to do. All right, so what we do is we look at the minimum. So the minimum and maximum are the two easiest things to find in a box for a box and whisker plot. The minimum number is going to be 13. Um, so that's the smallest number in your set of data. And then the highest number this time is gonna be 20. So I would go ahead and find those first. Okay, not terrible. <laughs> the median is gonna be the number in the middle. Well, this time we have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, we have 10 numbers. So what we have to do to find the median is we look right here in the middle of our numbers. So we look to 
um, split the data in half. Well, if I have 16 on either side of the line I drew, then that means the average of that line is going to be the same number. So the median here is going to be 16. Okay, that's the number that would be in the middle of our data. And then Q1, we look to the left side of the data, and then we find the middle of the left side of our data. The middle of the left side of our data is this number 14 here. So 14 is going to be Q1. Okay, I'm trying. And then the middle of our upper part of our data is going to be right here at 17. So it's going to be right here. Okay, now to actually draw our box and whisker plot, we have to put five dots at these numbers. So we put a dot here at 13. We put a dot here at 14. We have a dot at 16. I know these are kind of light, but we'll get, we'll, we'll darken them up in a minute. We have a dot at 17 and then a dot right here at 20. Okay, so what we do is for box and whiskers, the whiskers make the two outside dots. Okay, and usually we put a little line there so we can see it. And then we go from 17 to 20. Okay, and then the box from the inside are the quartiles. So we go 14 and 17 is going to make the part of our box. Oh, goodness sakes. I'm going to try that again. Okay, that's better. And then from 14 to 17. Okay, since we still have a dot at 16 in the middle, that number is going to be our median. That's the number that breaks our data in half. Now, even though the box and whisker plot is kind of shifted from side to side, um, that's okay. The whisker over here from 13 to 14 on the left-hand side, that just means 25% of our data is gonna be in this little circle, or this little bar. 25% of our data is gonna be from 14 to 16. 25% of our data is between 16 and 17, and then 25% of our data is 17 to 20. Okay, so that just breaks our data into four equal groups. So that shows me like where the ages were, okay, where they fall. And then the last ones that we have to do, well, median we already have. Median is going to be 16. We already know that because we found the one in the middle. And then the mode we can look at, it's pretty easy. The mode is the one that shows up the most. So 16, 16, and 16. That's the only number that shows up three times. Even though 14 duplicates, even though it shows up twice, it's still not as important as 16 that shows up three times. So our mode is going to be 16. And then the mean is when we add them all up and then we divide by 10. So if I add these all up and divide by 10, I happen to get a decimal. And a lot of times the mean is a decimal, you guys. And this time it's going to be 15.9. And then the range, that one's pretty easy. We take the biggest number, which is 20, and then the smallest number, which is 13, and then we just subtract it. So if we have 20 minus 13, we end up with seven, okay? So the range in our ages is gonna be seven years. So the youngest person got their job at age 13, the oldest person got their job at age 20. So the difference in their ages is going to be seven years. All right, so not pretty difficult, okay, nothing crazy. So what we're gonna do is this one. The games needed to win the World Series. How many games did it take the teams to win the World Series over the last 10 years? Okay, so we've got to do the exact same thing that we did before. All right, so first thing that we always do when we're looking at our data is we put the data in order from least to greatest. Okay, so four, and then you can mark it out as you go. Okay, so we can mark that four out. There's another four. So that means whatever teams won those years, 
they're pretty good at baseball because it only took them four games to win and you have the possibility of seven. So they were pretty good at that. And then you have five, five, five. So you're gonna write five three times, okay? And the reason I write them right underneath the other numbers like this is because I know if I end up with the same amount of numbers up here, then I'm gonna end up with the same at the end, okay? And then six, six and six okay there were three of those so it took the team that won six games to win three times six 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 and then seven seven because there were twice that it took the teams to win all seven games okay so those were probably pretty exciting world series so what you're going to do now that we have the numbers in order you guys are going to go through and fill out the information here okay there's a couple ways you can do this um, you can screenshot this question and the following question and then write it on the screen like with your mouse like i'm going to and submit the information or you can do it the easy way you can pause the recording you can answer this question on a sheet of paper write all of your information on the paper and then do the next question on the same sheet of paper and upload the one picture that's what i would suggest doing but if you guys like to do um screenshots and write on the computer that's absolutely fine okay um so what i'm going to do is give you enough time to to um, hit pause i want you to write each question down and then i want you to draw a histogram box and whisker plot with the data up at the top like I have and find the mean, median, mode, and range for this question and the next question. So you're going to submit two questions to me. Games needed to win the World Series. Okay, so make sure you hit pause and then before you move to the next question. Okay, and then the next one that you're going to submit is heights of the men's basketball team at Northwest Cabarrus High School. Okay, so I already have the ranges set up for the histograms. All you have to do is go count. Okay, find the minimum, quartile one, median, Q3, and max for the box and whisker plots, and then you draw both graphs. And then you find the mean, median, mode, and range. Okay, so after you submit those two questions, that's all we're gonna have to do for today, for Monday. And then tomorrow, we're gonna start analyzing data a little bit more. All right, so I hope you guys have a good day. Now, I know you guys think that this is a lot of work, but just wait until we get back to school. I promise I'm going to show you the shortcut for all of this on your handy dandy calculator, okay? But right now, I need you to know how to do this by hand before I teach you the shortcuts, okay? So make sure you put all the numbers in order and that you go through and you break them down by finding the medians each time for the box and whisker plots and that you do the um, counting properly for the histograms. All right.